Hello everybody, um, welcome to the latest top 10 video. For this weekend we're gonna look at the top 10 shirts that I really would like to have. Uh, only limited to national team shirts this time around. Um, I went through to order to compile this list. I jotted down jerseys right off my head. I did a little bit going on my blog and so on. What comes to mind? And while I'm jotting down, it's a huge list. Uh, I think easily 50 jerseys come to mind that I really would like to have. And then I decided to rank them. At first I had club jerseys and national team jerseys uh, together. And one thing became apparent for me, it's very hard to not separate these two, to keep those two together. So. That's why I only limit myself to national team jerseys and also I want to have way more national team jerseys than club jerseys. But I cannot put them on the same. I cannot compare, say, the Milan Centenary shirt that I really would like to have to any shirts in the top 10 of my list. Um, it's really hard for me. I'm wearing the latest shirt that I got off the top of my list is the 90 three uh, Brazil shirt uh, becoming 94. There were slight alterations made to the 94 version, um, but this was even worn prior to that World Cup and it's a very, very similar design. Absolute beauty, this Brazil shirt I've shown you in the video. Uh, here's how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go from 10 to one, but before I reveal the top three, I will go through just a few honorable mentions. And I will also, when I ever get to a video, uh, to a video, to a shirt, I tell you, this is the shirt that I really would like to have. But you know, there are others that I also find are okay. So, you know, um, if I would have not limited myself to one country per number, um, yeah, I would not have been too many countries in there either. And there are so many shirts, even on this list, that, you know, uh, even when I go down to number 50, this is something that, if I get the chance, I would really like to have. Talking too much already again, so let's get to it. I wrote it down um, just to be safe, especially with the um, uh, alternates. And we're gonna go straight to number 10, which is a Peru jersey, home jersey. I have a Peru home jersey, if you've seen my World Cup um, videos. You've seen me wear a Peru jersey, but I really want to have a nice Peru jersey. And I've written down the 2011, but also 2015 and the 2017 were all really nice. I like the 2011 because it has the red color and the red, uh, red, white, red cuffs. Very delicately put, really a great jersey, and I know someone who has it. My nephew is half Peruvian. It's too tiny, it doesn't fit him too, uh, in, anymore. Then number nine is a shirt that I really regret not getting when I had the chance to, and that's the Ghana 2010 away jersey. Um, I love the Africa kids from the 2010 World Cup. I, the Puma ones, they were all great and I have two of those already. I would like to get more, but I only have the ones that have the animals because I'm more of an animal guy. But I really like those brush stroke designs and the Ghana jersey, uh, where the home jersey, which I never really liked the white and the black, um, kind of looked a little bit boring to me, uh, especially when I consider the Ghana flag. Uh, but it had only the star and this doesn't really do it for me. So I really would like to have the home, the away jersey, the red and yellow one with a little bit green pinstripes. It looks crazy. It's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I really loved that one. That's the one that lost to Uruguay in the quarterfinals. And they also beat the US in that one. So yeah, there was quite some happening in that shirt. And it was definitely one of the more memorable ones of the 2010 World Cup. Alternatives would be then from the 90s. The 96 with this uh, three-stripe design down here. It's yellow. That's when Ghana had a yellow home jersey. I really liked it. And then with red and green. Uh, and a similar one in 94. Um, I think there they had even the uh, three stars right here, which is also a crazy sign. I think I would prefer the 96 slightly more, but I think all of those are really, really great jerseys. At number eight um, is the Senegal 2017 home jersey. If you haven't seen it, you can go to my blog. Um, if I have reviewed these jerseys, and actually there are some on there that I haven't reviewed yet. 
Um, I will post the link right in the description below on the Ghana 2017 jersey the one with the big lion. It's such a bold shirt. It's an epic shirt. And you know, I love African teams at the World Cup and in general. So I really would like to have that one. That is actually one of the top jerseys in Africa that I would like to have. It's a very recent one. Of course, uh, a Senegal 2002 uh, kit, I wouldn't say no to, but I really love this one. Uh, that's one of the best um, jerseys that I've ever seen. And for that reason, I really would like to have it. I was close to getting it this year, but yeah, it also satisfies the requirement. But it would be a different supplier. I always look forward to that one. Number seven, a similarly crazy one. You see already a um, thread going. I like some outlandish designs, but usually only for smaller teams. And on number seven, I have the Mexico 98 home kit. The one with the Aztec calendar in it. Um, this is so beautiful. That one I would even consider getting just, um, you know, a remake uh, to it's just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And for me, it's a typical shirt. Mexico is one of those teams that I should have a shirt. And I always regret I was living for 10 years in the US. I have US shirts, so I should have those, but I never got a Mexico shirt. I'm not the biggest fan of the Mexican national team, but I think in any collection, especially when I talk about World Cups and so on, there should be Mexico in there because it's such a nation that's always there. And if I think Mexico hits, that's the one. That's the one I would like to have. Um, very distant second, third, I'm thinking the 94 one. Um, it's a little bit wilder. It has this red, um, you know, a longest seam. There's this red uh, band here. But look, this doesn't also look too bad. And also the 2017 one, which is more, maybe the most realistic one to get, uh, considering the price of the other two. That I also liked. Um, it's very simple, very Adidas. But, you know, it is just a plain green with some shadow striping and a little bit white accents, but looked actually quite good. Uh, so that one I, I, I would like to. Number six, Scotland 96 home, the tartan jersey. I saw today that I didn't give it a perfect rating on my blog, but when I think about it, I really would like to have a Scotland shirt, especially now that I have an England shirt, I should get a Scotland shirt. Um, I should get a Wales in Ireland, blah, 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 uh, as well, uh, to just uh, fill up the collection there. But that Scotland jersey is special. Uh, and I also, of the British kids, I always like the Scotland kit most. It's dark blue. I love dark blue kits. Um, if you've been watching my videos and reading my blog, you know that I have a soft spot for dark blue jerseys. Um, and that one is just special with the tartan pattern. I didn't really like the purple stripe here, but it's over. It doesn't bother me. And yeah, it's just a great outlandish kit in a way, but one that looked really good and was a highlight of the tour and tour tournament. And um, it would have been great if the Scots would have made it out of it. I also like the 92 Scotland jersey, uh, that one I remember, I think the 98 was alright and I looked a little bit of more recent, but the uh, 2012 was also really not bad, it had also a nice shirt color, had the Scottish flag and the emblem, so really 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 looked well. Um, I would say if you would ask me in general, I wanna get, basically I wanna get as many countries as possible. Scotland would rank in the top third, but not on the very top uh, of nations that I want to fill up next. And But this shirt is just so special that I cannot have it outside of my top 10. As simple as that. Number five, a shirt that I almost bought in Australia. Yes, I was in 98 in Australia and I really would like to have had it. South Africa home jersey. That one with the crazy design. As alternative, I want to say the 96, which is even crazier. This was when South Africa had their own style. It is a white jersey. It has uh, some green accents and I loved the kappa color back then. And it is in yellow, uh, black, diagonal interweaving patterns, kind of like this and uh, with um, those bars. Um, I really like this kit. 
Yes, it's crazy, but I really like this one. The 96 one is maybe a little bit too much, uh, although it's very iconic because that won the Africa Cup of Nations in 96 on home soil. Still, that South Africa jersey in 98, even the away jersey that's green uh, with, with the pattern is one that I really would like to have. And I absolutely am sad that South Africa now puts out rather bland jerseys in yellow and green. I get it, but you had something unique. I know in 2000 Adidas uh, made a shirt that had just a few stripes. That was probably the last one that had this kind, kind of a DNA for the 2002 World Cup. They issued, I think, white and yellow ones that were rather bland. And I even thought in 2010 should I get a South Africa home jersey and then I saw it and there was nothing special about it. It was boring, honestly. So that's why I didn't get it. We'll stay in 98 for number four. France home 98, put in the away as well, but the France home jersey. Uh, it's not my favorite France jersey, but of course I have now more or less the winning jersey from 94. I have the winning jerseys from 2006, yeah, not really, but from 2010 I have it, um, 2014 I don't have. I want to have, even if it's Germany, I want to have all the winning shirts, World Cup winning shirts. And so that one is up there and that was one of, I soon wanted to have, yes, I have the 96 and I have the 2000. But think about it, I should have the 98 one too. Maybe I should get the away jersey, but um, it's a, a classic shirt. There's also another France shirt that I really, blue France shirt that I really would like to have. That's a 2014 one. The first one that is navy with just the white collar. Um, Back then I gave it 10 stars and I think I would give it, I still would think it was a better jersey than the one that won the World Cup this year. Um, it's maybe not as adventurous, it's just a classic looking shirt. This is a shirt that you really uh, can almost wear anywhere and it looks good. Uh, absolutely loved that one. Would have wished a little bit uh, lighter blue, maybe royal blue. Yes, but I think since the French flag can become in two colors, either the royal blue or a navy blue, I understand it and I like it. That 2014 shirt was the first one to feature the new old style cockerel crest. I really would like to have that one. Uh, so it features a number four in my top 10. And now before we go to the top three, here are five shirts with alternatives of what I would like. Uh, I give it a more in general and then I tell you which would be my first choice. Um, and this is in no, in no particular order. I think I'm gonna go um, alphabetically. I would like to have a blue Brazil jersey. Um, and it should be blue and white, to be honest. So um, I would like to have Brazil 94. That would be ideal. But I also like the 18 one with a few stars and the 04 one with this uh, same templates here. That one looked nice. I think there was also one in 13 that looked decent, but not most, not all of the, them at the World Cup looked really great. I would like to have a Bulgaria jersey, a true red Bulgaria jersey, and I would like to have one with a lion crest. In 98 they had that. I, the white and the red I would love. I also love the one that they have pulled put on in 2017 with the Bulgarian flag trim. Had a little bit of a color gradient on. Uh, but that one I liked too. But I, the two Bulgaria shirts I have have all this weird um, tango ball crest that I absolutely dislike. They also had in 94. I didn't like it. But in 98 they did something special. Those 98 Bulgaria shirts would be nice. I need a Croatia home jersey. Yes, I have my away jersey, but I want to have the checkerboards. And well, it would be nice to have the 96 and the 98 shirts, uh, which are kind of the original ones. I fell in love with the 2016 one. That would be, actually I would choose that one over the other two, although the other two have probably more value, but I lo really love the 2016 one. Um, I want to have a Netherlands away jersey that's not black, that means a white or a blue one. Um, if you ask me a blue one, I actually would like to have the one from 2014. I almost had it in my hands and bought it. I don't have it. But other ones that I like, if it's, uh, say, dark blue, the 97, the one that was blue with orange on the side, great. 98 was also uh, similar, but had a 
darker sides, I think. Um, as for white ones, I like the 04, I like the 06, I like also the 94. 92, you know, those were all great jerseys. So yeah, a white Netherlands jersey and then Nigeria jerseys, the crazy ones, 94 or 2018. Note that the 2018 didn't make it in my top 10, but it's close. Uh, it's not the perfect shirt for me. Okay, top three. Number three, Italy 94 home or away, but I would prefer home and preferable with a budget on the back. There are two other shirts that I would like to have, the 2000, although I was never a fan, but maybe the white one looked really nice and also the 99 ones. Look those up, the first couple jerseys uh, that Italy had, they were really nice. Of course I would like to have a replaced 1990 Italy jersey. But the 94 jersey, I was suffering with Baggio, I was jubilating, I was celebrating with Baggio. Uh, I remember when I saw this shirt the first time in somewhere 92, 93 with the triangles. I didn't understand it because I liked mine so much more. It's such a great shirt this day and especially the font. I would love to have this jersey, this is one of my absolute top jerseys. Italy, 94, home or away. Probably like slight preference for the home because it's blue, but the away jersey also looked sharp. Uh, preferably the budget back there. Number two, another one where I have a number in mind. Argentina 98, the away jersey with number nine, Batistuta. I love this jersey. I absolutely would love to have this jersey. This was the first uh, dark blue Argentina jersey that I saw that I fell absolutely in love with it, especially since it has the Argentina flag here in the white on the sides. Look at it now, it's a little bit hard to look at it with fresh eyes um, because it is a little bit out there, but this is a jersey I absolutely adore and I need to have this one. Sooner or later I will have this one. Preferably 9 Batistuta with the 3D lettering. I want to have, I have a dark blue Argentina jersey, but it's a 2015 with this has kind of steely blue. I would like to have a really navy blue one. So any of these would do. I'm going through the ones that were played at World Cups, 02 and 06. Really nice jerseys. But the 11 jersey that they played at the Copa America at home is also a great jersey. Has my, the approval of my wife and now I cannot get it anymore. And then two that I wanted to look up on my blog or somewhere else. The 92 away jersey and the 01 away jersey. Those are all great. All of these would be great. The 98 I just prefer because it has a special significance because they played uh, great in that one, in, at, at, at that World Cup. And number one, I guess it's no one's surprise. Netherlands 88, home with the black number 12, microphone bust. Do I need to say more? It's the jersey. Um, when I made the original brainstorm, I even left it off the list because I it's unachievable. And I, again, I would get a replica of the replica uh, for that one. Alternatives, I the 92 home jersey, I this is probably if I would design a Netherlands jersey, that would be my ultimate. And then uh, I saw the 89th Centenary jersey. Put it here too, because that's also a really great one that you should uh, check out. There you have it. That's my top 10 jerseys and many more, all of which I would love to have at one point. Uh, yeah, I probably should go to a mental institution. That's all I collect. Let me know which jerseys you would like to have. Let's stick with national teams. I do, I do a similar top 10 probably next week for club jerseys, unless I come up with some other idea. And yeah, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.